Hey guys, how are you doing? Are you ready for drawing time? Awesome, thanks for joining me today. Hey, before we go on to drawing time today, I wanna to show you something. This is a book that I made with some other artist. My dad wrote the story and I worked with some other artists to draw the illustrations for it. And it's called A Clever Plan to Save the Land. What's it about? Let's see. Well, it's about this king here and he was a really happy king going about his business, but then somebody came and pulled his beard. Oh, and it made him really unhappy. He started to frown all the time. And this got to be a problem. And so everyone in the kingdom decided to hold a contest to see who could help make the king smile. It's a really fun book. And I actually read it. I actually read it a little while ago. And it's on our channel. And you can go see it later if you want. But the most important thing right now is that the king lives in a castle and I was thinking I'd like to draw a castle and I was like well that's perfect because we have a castle right here so let's draw the castle from the book today okay all right see if you can remember that castle memorize it okay now we're gonna have to figure out how to draw it <laughs> that's okay we can pull it back up the book if we need to later alrighty first steps first we're gonna do this drawing in three parts and you can follow along for one two or all three of the parts first steps first though got to get on our artist hat Make sure you're always wearing an artist hat when you do art. <laughs> now we're ready to go. For the first part, we're gonna use our pencil to draw just the basic shapes of our castle. All right, so how do you draw a castle? Well, I'm gonna start by drawing a big square. I found that most things are either squares, circles, or shapes, and then you can add more lines to make them look like other things, but when they get started, they're just a square. <laughs> All right, so we're gonna do our first square. And then let's see, what are we gonna do after that? Let's take this square kind of in the middle here, go a little bit over, and not all the way in the middle, but just a little bit, and bring it down, and then bring it over to the side, and then bring it back up. So now we've kind of chopped out a little square there. And in fact, you can even erase that line because we're not gonna use it anymore. Okay, now this is kind of some of the beams of our castle. At the top here, we're gonna put another square. It's gonna be kind of a long rectangle and make it stick out over the sides a little bit. See how it's sticking out? And then right here, let's add a triangle. Remember how I said everything's either a square, circle, or triangle? There's your triangle. Nice. And then, let's see, let's add two lines. See these lines right here? We're gonna kind of add two more lines kind of right where they are. Bring it up a little bit, and then add another triangle at the top. It's looking really good. Nice. Now we're gonna add a door. This is kind of like, hmm, it's like a big frown, just like the king. A big frown is gonna be the door. And there's your basic shapes of the castle. That looks really nice. Now we're gonna go back with our pencil and we're gonna kind of add a few more lines to make the shapes fit together and look more like a castle. All right, here we go. All right, so let's start here. What should we do? Let's start with our curvy lines we need to add some curvy lines so let's add a curvy line to the bottom of this um, kind of square here and the bottom of this triangle and the bottom of this triangle and the bottom of the castle this is just kind of making it look a little bit more like a roundish castle and remember a curvy line is just kind of like a smiley face just a smile right there nice alrighty and then oh let's add the roof squares so right here there's some more little squares. You're gonna draw one tiny square, skip a space, draw another square, skip another space, and draw one more square and bring it all the way over to the end. There we go, really really looking good. All right, now we have our door. Let's add some lines for our door. Nice. And then, oh, let's make the sides come out a little bit. So see how these sides are straight? Well, to make it look a little bit more kind of cartoony, we're gonna make the sides kind of go out a little more. So they're wider at the bottom and they're smaller at the top. And then the last thing, we're gonna add a flag. So a flag's just gonna be a straight line with another triangle at the end. And then let's do another one right here, a straight line with a triangle at the end. There we go, nicely done. And then you can just erase a few lines that you're not gonna use anymore, just so it doesn't get confusing. And uh, there we go, we've pretty much drawn our castle, nice. Now, the last thing we have to do before we're finished with this first part, is we're gonna take our black marker and you're gonna draw over the pencil lines that you've drawn, and then erase the pencil lines after your marker has dried. Okay, ready? Let's do it. Alrighty, guys. 
guys. What do you think? Let's see if it looks like our castle right there. I think it looks pretty close. I think it looks good. Nice. Well, you know what? High five. You just finished part one of the drawing. That's awesome. Now, if you want to stop here, this is a fine place to stop. You have your drawing of your castle. It's all drawn. Nice. But if you want to go on to part two, just keep watching. All right, for part two, we're gonna add some colors to our castle. Now, let's look in the book again. What color was that castle? Hmm, okay, so it looks like here the castle is gray, and it has a brown door and a little red flag. But you know what? I think I'd like to make the castle purple today. You can make your castle whatever color you want it to be. But I'm gonna make mine purple. So, let's see, I'm gonna put that right there. I'm gonna get out my light color purple, and I'm just gonna color up and down, up and down. This kinda helps me to color fast, but if you need to color slower, that's okay. You can always pause the video and then come back when you're ready. Alrighty. Coloring in our castle. Actually, yeah, this whole thing is just gonna be purple, so <laughs> I can color pretty fast. And then, let's see, after we color our purple, I think I'll get my brown out. I'm gonna use, hmm, what color? I have different color browns, but I'm gonna use this color brown today. Because I guess the, the door is supposed to be made out of wood or something, and so usually wood is brown. Nice. And then for the flags, let's make it red. Nice. There we go, that's looking really nice there. And then I think I'm gonna add a little hill because remember that castle, it was sitting on a hill. So I'm gonna take my green color pencil. I'm just gonna color up and down. Nice, and then let's add some blue sky. Let's take our blue pencil. We're gonna go up and down, up and down. Maybe it's a sunny day at the king's castle, you never know. <laughs> I don't know why he was frowning so much. Oh well, good thing that the, the kids in town had a contest to make him smile. Okay, almost done here. And you know what, after you finish coloring the sky, you have just about finished coloring your castle. All done. High five, you just finished part two, guys and it looks great. Now, if you wanna stop here, this is also a good place to stop. Your castle is colored, but if you wanna keep going, we have one more part. All right, keep your colors out. Let's go on. For part three, we're going to take our same colors, but we're just gonna color a little bit darker. So I'm gonna, you can take out your same color purple, and you can color dark kind of around the edges right here, not in the middle, but just the edges. Or if you have a dark color purple, you can do that too. Either way, you can either just color extra hard with the same color or use a darker color. All right, now I'm gonna color this corner over here a little bit dark. There we go, nice. And then I think I'm gonna color dark up here at this kind of back area, <laughs> the little back pole. And then on both sides of the pointy triangle top and both sides of the square top. Let's do it a little bit under here too. Do you think we should put a window in our castle? Yeah, how is the king gonna look out of his castle at the whole kingdom if he doesn't have a window? My goodness. Okay, let's do that. Let's take our black pencil and I'm gonna draw another upside down U, kind of like the door here and a bottom and just color it in right there. Let's do another one up here. Oh, he can go up super tall and look out and see lots of things from up there. Nice, that's looking really good. Okay, and then let's see, I think I'll take some of my green here and just put in some other green as well. So you have some two types of green if you like multiple types of grass. And then, oh, I think I'm gonna add some mountains too. Let's get our purple out and I'm gonna do some mountains in the background. It's okay that we already colored over blue because you can just color over with purple. And I think we're just about done, guys. 
Nice job. Wow. I really like how our castle is coming out. All right, the last part, we got to get out our black marker and sign your drawing. Remember, signing your drawing is just writing your name in the bottom corner. Sometimes you can do fancy or you can add a smiley face or whatever you like. And that way, everyone knows who did the drawing. All right, guys. Well, great job. High five. You just finished your drawing and it looks awesome. Send me a picture of your drawing because I want to see. And also, do you have any ideas of something that we should draw next time? If you do, you can ask your mom and dad to get in touch with us. They can look in the description of our video and then they can tell us your awesome idea. Okay, guys. Thanks so much for tuning in. We'll see you next time. Bye.